got there guys uh, before we start this video I'd like to thank everyone who subscribed to the channel for those of you watching for the first time uh, my name's Rich this is my VW T25 that we've named Poly Grey um, I try and like, upload a video every week uh, of us basically trying to do it back up to be a camper van so if that's something you might find interesting please consider su subscribing hit the bell notification so you don't miss a video I try and put one on every week uh, also you can catch us on um, Instagram V Dub Poly Grey uh, go and check us out guys I hope you enjoy this week's video I'll leave it there thank you Right then guys, welcome back to another week's video. They go around quick, don't they, uh, these weeks. So what I'm gonna do this week, I'll quickly show my problem first. I don't have to the wind right now. But in last week's video, when I was sort of mooching around, I was gonna paint all in here, and obviously under the molding, it is rusty. But what I noticed in this rear corner, and I'll quickly show you with the molding corner back in. Can you see that gap there? So there's a gap there. And I thought, worryingly, with this thing with rust, I thought, you know what, that's rusted straight through that as. And there's got to be a reason all this panel was rusting and I haven't found it yet. So I'll remove all this and I'll quickly show you. So I think in that corner there, I'll risk, obviously I think this was originally uh, a panel van. Um, and the window was cut in. I don't think now someone's overcut that there. So I think that needs a bit more, needs a bit more meat on it, doesn't it? I think. Um, so that's what I'm going to weld on, just a tiny little bit onto there. Um, of course, if you try and get you into place here, because it was a bit rusty in there. So I've got a leak somewhere from a seal. Um, it's not much, probably over the years. I bet it's been a panel. I bet it's been a camper for ages. I mean, the interior was old, so it, it, you know it's been a it's been a camper van a fair few years. So I don't think I'll be confident just putting that seal back on now, and I've got that gap. I was thinking about putting some sealer in to the seal as well, um, but I think what I am going to do, I'm just going to take the time and I am going to weld just the tiniest bit there, um, and then file it back, and then we're going to to the inside of that door guys so stay tuned so yeah stay tuned for all that that's what we're going to do this week um i can't leave these jobs um i mean i'd love just to think oh you know what let's just get the van painted it's sick of looking at it sick of looking at it in primer grey it looks terrible i've seen to do like two or three weeks like well three weeks hard work on it and just don't seem to have got anywhere but when you look back at the videos, you just you just can't miss these little jobs. I think they'll just bite me in the arse like, later on when I haven't just spent that time or I've spent all that money on the inside. Then the corner of the windowsill pisses it. Sorry, the corner of the windowsill leaks in. Um, so I'm just as I find a problem, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna no matter how painful it is to grab the welder out again or. You know, it feels like you're taking a step backwards. Um, I'm just going to get it get the get it done out of the way. Should never have to revisit again. I'm not in no intention of selling ever selling the van. Um, so just try and get it right first time, I guess. So guys, um, I'm going to crack on with some work. I think Lisa's going to come round. I think Lisa's going to she's going to um, black hammer right all inside the floor today. Um, and that'd be a nice job. I'm not going to use the paint. I'm going to use that combi colour for that inside because you're not going to see it um, and it's quite expensive so I'm not just going to waste paint everything that I can't see I'm going to just um, combi colour black right and guys we're going to um, well I am going to do some work it took me ages to get set up every time I get these boys to help me do this van something goes wrong so um, battery was flat this morning um, one of my sons helped me yesterday put a mould in he says can I sit in the front and then he must have they've got a habit of keep from switching the lights on <laughs> and then they switch the lights and then I come into it in the morning and the blooming battery's fat so I've had a nightmare trying to get it started this morning so battery's on charge again 
right then guys if you can see that a bit close up plan is just to weld a little bit more meat onto that corner there it's a very small patch i don't know whether this is going to work or not um but we'll give it a go um it's just so i'm going to put the seal back on that doesn't leave that little gap uh so i'm going to try and weld that and i'll catch you in a sec when it's done hopefully it's done should i say so there as you can see i've welded that little patch on there um for the seal um it's strong enough and it just bridges that gap that was there that was us struggling i could see through the the old seal um i'm just gonna put a skimmer fill around all this door frame and then throw some primer on and then put some paint on and uh, lisa's just we're gonna paint inside uh, the floor today as well hopefully right then guys so i've just put a bit of a um, Rust converted, whatever rust was left, I'll put a skimmer fill around the door. I'm going to give it some primer now. Um, I'll put some primer over that and then I'm going to try and paint it tonight. Lisa's going to um, paint the inside that front floor when she's finished feeding the um, cat from wherever that's come from. So. <laughs> Get treated. Uh, it's getting looked after better than me. Um, so yeah, Lisa's ready to put some paint on the uh, cab floor, and then I'm going to put some primer around this uh, primer around this window. Um, I have got a dilemma with the window when I put it back in. I'll um, explain to you guys what I think I'm going to do. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll talk through that in just a sec. Just bear with me. Right then, guys. Um, pretty much finished for today. Come on, show you what we've done. So Lisa's painted all the floor. Uh, we've gone with just a black amorite. Um, the, pl the floor, to be fair, is really good. I know some people that have watched YouTube videos and it unearths loads of rust, but actually that floor is really good. But all we've done is we've gone over it again. We've got a quick red scotch bright in um, and we've gone over it with some black amorite. Um, there's obviously a double layer now of paint on there, so that should be protected for the future show you what else we've done all i've done with this we've made that corner there for the molding and all i've done is sure. and all i've done with the original paintwork on there is i've um, just brush painted on the uh, combi color that we're going to use for the simple reason is all i want to do is get the window back in um, put the molding on and then all this when i paint the i'll leave the window in when i paint the van and i can just flat all this back so that's us done for today. Catch us tomorrow and we'll uh, crack on and do some more. You will 100% need one of these, a grinder. In fact, what I'd do is, <clears throat> if you haven't got one and you're buying a T25, pick the T25 up from the person's house who, that, uh, who you're buying it off. Whatever you're paying, make sure you keep yourself some money in your pocket. Set your sat on the way back to go straight past somewhere and pick one of these up. Um, pick one of these up and then pick up stuff to start grinding rust out because you're 100% this will be like you, your new best friend um, it's the only tool that you pretty much have used so far um, <laughs> so yeah um, pick up your van then drive to a shop pick yourself one of these pick you need a million of these you might as well just see if you can go in shares with the company um, and then grab yourself some attachments like that yep and if you're all wondering she does make me wear this t-shirt every time that I do any work on the camper van <laughs> Right then guys, um, I know I poked a little bit of fun of my father-in-law yesterday about sort of pinching his tools and mending his tools, but on a serious note, it's something to really consider when buying one of these old vans is the tools you're going to need to fix them back up. Um, you are going to need a welder, you are probably going to need a compressor, you're going to need a load of tools and you know you've got to, you've got to, con you've got to seriously got to consider that um, on top of the purchase of the van, of a, what, what tools you're going to need to sort of fix it back up. Um, I've been quite fortunate and so I poked a bit of foot up my father-in-law last week about sort of nicking his tools. Um, but like the welder I lent off sort of uh, my brother-in-law, uh, the compressor I bought myself, but I've got one now and I'll just lend it out to my family if they ever need it. Um, if you went to buy, an, if you went to, if you had to go and buy uh, welders, compressors, you know, you're talking probably another thousand pound on top of the van price, but you're going to need these stuff to fix them up. It's as simple as that. Um, I've been lucky really. I didn't consider it when I bought it. 
um, but I just lucky to sort of beg, steal and borrow, um, beg, steal and borrow the tools I've needed to get this far. Um, and then I've got mechanical stuff to do and I haven't really got the right tools for all of that. I just, you know, some out of my comfort zone. So that's something else I'm going to be probably beg, steal and borrow and bits and bobs I'll buy myself. Um, but yeah, guys, something to bear in mind on a serious note, buy one of these old sort of cars. You know, if it's costing you two grand to sort of do it up, to, to, to buy the van or whatever like mine did, you know, you, you're going to need to, you know, you're going to need to spend probably another thousand quid on, on, on an equipment to get them actually, you know, to do them up. So, uh, tip of the day, I guess. Yeah, so what I'm also, what I'm also started to do as well, I've started to, uh, anywhere there's little bits of rust or rust coming through from obviously the panel, um, we're just knocking the rust off, it's mainly any surface rust, and we are just black amorite and everything inside. Now, that may see that may be a little bit over the top. I have no idea whether it is or whether it isn't. My sort of thoughts behind it, and that's all I've got to go on, is that obviously I'll show you. Oh, obviously, that's all been done. So, I'll quickly show you what I mean and see what you think. Um, Shop on here, is it? So obviously down some of the seams in some of these parts, it's a little bit, a little bit of surface rust. There's a little bit of surface rust around there as well. We've treated already, um, but the rest of it's sort of pretty good. Obviously that's where I put the panel on from the other side. That's sort of my thoughts are if I can get as much of the rust out as what I can. I'll jump back outside the van. I'll explain. Yeah, that's, my thoughts are, and I could be wrong, um, my thoughts are that if a coat, obviously, it's going to be painted from the outside, and if you paint it from the inside, that gives it, it's sealed them, the metal seal from both sides. I don't suppose that would matter on new vans, because they're mainly aluminium, but on these steel vans, that sort of rust, um, I, I, I don't know, I think it's a job worth doing. You'll have to let me know in the comments below whether I'm wasting my time, but I'm going to carry on doing it. I don't think it's going to hurt. Um, and then all the areas where I can't get to, which I'm still gonna do, obviously, in those holes and there. I'm gonna buy some wax oil and I'm gonna wax oil all at the bottoms of all the door shuts and everything. Uh, it's a project we used, uh, it's a product we used to use years ago when I started painting cars. Um, obviously, stop some sort of rusting as well, but we'll get, we'll get some of that. But yeah, my thoughts behind it, I don't wanna go for all this work and then need to start rusting back through. I'd prefer to, go over the top with it um, there's the floor that we did yesterday I prefer to go over the top with everything and just never have to address it again I'm, like I said yesterday I have no intention of selling the van um, I made a mistake years ago I had a Mark 1 Golf I'll throw some photos up of it now so you can quickly have a look it's the white one in these pictures um, and I ended up selling it the, to be honest it was a great car and it was solid um, the engine kept letting me down to work and what I'd have loved to do at the time I just stuck it in a garage and just left it till I got the money to do it or bloody enough sold it. One of the biggest mistakes I've ever made. Um, so I say, I've got no intention of selling I've always wanted one of these and I've got no intention of selling it. I'm better financially and if there was a problem with this now I'd just leave it until I got the money to fix it up, engine wise anyway. Um, the rest of it we're doing. Um, so that's where I am. So. Um, You'll have to leave in the comments below, and then we'll obviously insulate all this now. Well, once all this is painted, and we can start insulating it and boarding it out. Um, what I am going to do, I'm going to do it as though I can sort of remove the panels if I have to, and then we can keep checking behind, see how it's getting on, and then we can always again wax oil it and whatever behind. So yeah, um, I'm blacking inside. Stay tuned. Try and put this window in as well this afternoon. Right then guys, do you remember when I uh, said I have got a dilemma with the seals? I'll explain to you what I mean. So the seal that was in it before, I believe was the wrong way around. Well, I don't know, but it looked as though it was the wrong way around and I'll explain why I got this thought. So, this was the, the old seal that was out that I'm pointing to now. And this gap here was where it run around the window frame. And this hole there when it was on, which went onto the window, if you get what I mean. Uh, and I believe that's the wrong way. Sorry, but I believe it should be the other way around. That should sit on the door frame and that should sit on the window. 
and I think the issue was with the leaking. Obviously, that is such a big gap there. It was letting water leak in. I think that might be my problem. So, if you remember from another video when we changed the kitchen window, the seal didn't work, did it? So, I got a spare seal. So, I've tried to use that seal, and I'll explain why what we've done. So, this is the new seal. This is now that very small gap there is around the actual window frame and this gully is what the window is now sitting in and I believe we're going to try it now with a hose pipe but I believe it's a better seal than the gaps around we'll show the window in we've done it yeah it's uh, smaller isn't it but it fits yeah the, the seals nicer. the seals smaller and it fits nicer and I'll, I'll give you a tip of what I've done today um, I know um, I know for a fact that they just say use plastic trim kits, uh, plastic sort of trim tools. I haven't got any of them. I'll search. I searched them on the uh, internet, and you can't get them because of this lockdown. Um, but they're twenty pound to buy from Machine Mart. I don't want to pay twenty pound to put one window in. So what I've done, and it's worked really well. To be fair, these were um, to get bicycle tires off. Um, you all know what they are, you, you keep them in there, it goes around you spoke. All I've done is I've sanded them off to make two plastic tools to, to pick the rubbers out and to be, uh, to be honest they've worked really well. So there's a tip for you, if you're struggling by and try those first. You, everyone will have these knocking around their house somewhere if they've got mountain bikes or kids have got bikes. Um, I've just used, a couple, so I just used a couple of those and it went in really nice to be fair using them. Um, so using anything metal, so here's it with the window in. Um, nice fit actually. The, I'm, I'm worried about this little bit here, um, but we're going to test it now. It's just it might it may go in with the heat, um, but I'm going to grab the hose pipe round and I'm going to try and test all these two windows before I start working on the inside. I'll catch you all in a sec. Right then guys, uh, good morning. Um, threw some water over that seal that we put in yesterday and it, it's, it still leaks. Um, I don't know why, I don't know why. Um, I don't know whether the seal's wrong or, but it's, I, I've ended up in the end putting the old seal back in. Um, I'll turn it around and that, that leaks as well, but they're all, they're both leaking from um, the same bit. So I'll show you and then, you may have had the same issue you can let um this is the old so i'm not even sure this i'll put this in the way it come out but i'm sure even that's the wrong way around so it's that seal was leaking from there dripping inside which there is a bit of a gap so i'm not surprised um and the new yeah that smaller seal that i showed yesterday that's leaking but i could have just i don't know i just got, i could have cut it wrong there was a little bit of a gap um, when we put the window in, um, maybe I hadn't cut it straight, I don't know, but that's leaking still. Um, so guys, this is where you can help me. If anyone knows I've come up with this problem, just put it in the comments below. You've seen the two, you've, you've saw the two seals I've used. Are they right? I don't know. Um, this is where it's getting a little bit, I knew I was going to come across these problems. It's one of the reasons I bought this van and explained to you. It, 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 because I know the VW community is so helpful and so friendly. Obviously with shows coming up and western and parts i need and different bobs but with this blooming lockdown that's all been like cancelled hasn't it so i'm kind of feel like i well i'm kind of on my own with it at the minute um i'll show these other seal that both seals i bought a new seal for that didn't i but then it didn't fit and i i just put that little bit of a that's how big the gap was from my old seal and then i put that in to see if that would help and that still leaks as well so no better off with um that with the seal process at the minute um still things to crack on with i guess um i just wanted to get the inside water tight really so if we started having bad weather we could at least start insulating it and doing different things what i can't now um until i sort these until i sort these leaks out i'm going to carry on uh, painting the inside um because i can still do that it's not gonna i'll carry on painting the inside because that's not going to make a difference to anything um and carry on um, but I'm even struggling now to um, 
to sort of get supplies and stuff I need. Um, I went around running around the first week before I thought that we might be going in lockdown and bought as much as I can, but now I'm running out of stuff like really fast. So I um, have to see how many more videos I can put on until this is all over, I think. Um, but carry on for now, still other jobs to be done, so. Right then guys, uh, good morning. Um, well, it's good afternoon now, to be fair. Um, I got over the uh, nervous breakdown yesterday of the window seals leaking. <laughs> I'm going to hit these problems, I guess. Um, but I've cracked on today and I have just amorited um, all the inside, basically, um, with black. Um, I think I might mention my thoughts behind that or um, I'm not sure you know I hear about people doing these builds um, I'll just take you around what else I've done I just hear people with these builds um, give the floor two coats uh, with a vapor sort of layer um, my thoughts are I could be completely wrong to all inside the cab as well um, My thoughts are, so yeah, my thoughts are with this vapor layer, like the windows, condensation, do you get condensation on the inside of panels? Um, so if you do, obviously you're gonna get water, water on the inside or moisture. That's obviously moisture on plain metals gonna potentially give you uh, areas of rust. Um, so that's why I've painted it, made a decision to paint it all protected. If you do get moisture, insulate, um, moisture on the inside condensation on the panel panel being cold van being warm whatever it's not going to rust from the sort of inside out so that's why i've done that made sure all the rust and whatever was was treated um and that's me pretty much done i think for this week guys like i said let me turn you back around wow look at that hair now look at that haircut i'm growing the beard though so i keep on with the beard i think um yeah so that's going to be can you see uh, that's going to be pretty much done this week, I think. Uh, inside's all painted. Um, so, guys, again, thank you. Uh, I hope you've been enjoying the videos. If you are, please consider subscribing if you're new. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Um, I'll catch you all next week. I'm going to probably um, do that hole in the roof. Might as well finish off the welding. Uh, and then it'll all be, obviously, need to order two window seals because they leak. Can't do any more with the inside until I make it watertight. Um, the uh, front windscreen seal I've got, but I'm not replacing yet. I'm a little bit nervous, beans. I believe I had the wrong seal for the for the for that kitchen window, uh, and I got it from the same place. Very reluctant. Why well, I've got no help to um, take that out. Um, I'm going to have an issue getting it back in. It's at least a two-person job, um, so I'm going to wait till I get some help on that. I think and get that back in um what else are we going to do so then from then on window seals make sure it's dry we can then we've got options then haven't we um i can start working on the inside uh insulating it um and do some research i absolutely know zero about that and the the second thing the mot is up over next month for yeah next month for the month after so um handbrake cable doesn't work um i know what the issue is with that though so i'll get that fixed uh, exhaust so it's just going to be stuff to get it through its next MOT once that's done we'll um, we'll carry on with di different jobs I won't be buying anything else other than stuff now to get it through its MOT um, it'll be stuff that I need um, so stay tuned for all that guys again thank you for subscribing and I'll catch you all next week thank you